Hey, welcome back, Jameson Repair Shop. Well, I've got one for you. This is going to be a quick video. People don't want to sit around watching a whole great big long video on diagnostics and testing and stuff like that. Uh, you just want to get something. And, uh, and that's the way my son was. Uh, so I'm working on his 2019 Jeep Wrangler Sport. Uh, him and his uh, girlfriend Sabrina, they've been having an awful time with this Jeep. It's a beautiful Jeep, they love it, but it's uh, been causing some problems. So what's going on is that you go to start the Jeep and it goes automatically into uh, some kind of a, a shutdown mode where you can't get the shifter out of, the, out of park and drive the vehicle, the engine's running rough. There's a whole host of things happening there and uh, even when you are driving it and it happens it goes into limp mode and you have reduced power and then you park it then you have to fiddle with the ignition off and on off and on to get it to uh, to let you drive it again so i said i would look at it for them i have not a lot of experience with can bus issues anyway i i want to do this video fairly quickly I don't want this to be a long drawn out video uh, with diagnostics and tools that people don't have. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what we found out. Now I'm going to give my wife credit for this one because I was kind of lost on it. I wasn't kind of lost, I was lost on it. There was so much going on there. And I will show you the codes that are the modules affected. I'll put that up on the screen here. Hard to see the screen. Yeah, so we've got a <clears throat> low circuit and oxygen sensors, brake pedal sensor. I mean, it's highly unlikely all those things are failing at once. Speed sensors, uh, distance message. So I was totally lost on this. So Beverly went ahead and she started doing some research. And she said, hey, try this. Uh, and what it is, and I have the new part here, it is called a uh, bus connector. These bus connectors have been installed on Mopar cars and vans, trucks, from 2017 up to current times. Um, this is $100, well we pay a little bit less, I'll put a link in the description from Mopar Parts Canada, paid 76 bucks plus shipping, so it was a little over $100 to get it. And I'm going to show you where it is, and if your vehicle it has the same symptoms of a service shifter on the dash, won't come out of park. You have all, almost every warning light on the dash on, and you can't get a, you can't drive the vehicle. Then this is most likely the issue. These are uh, just a little circuit board, uh, very delicate pins on it. So we'll go out, we'll change it quickly, and get this vehicle going again. So let's uh, take a look at this Jeep. So I have it in the driveway right now because, uh, as you can see, I'm working on the cabriolet. Put the top on the cabriolet. But this isn't going to take long. The biggest problem with these is the connectors are very delicate. So I'm going to take a hair dryer and warm them up a bit. So let's go after it. And here's the Jeep behind me. So let's do this. So here's the, the part number for this, this rig, for this CAN bus connector or star connector. Uh, I'm out in the driveway, so you'll hear vehicles go by. So sorry about the sound quality. Anyway, so I have a hair dryer and I have a, little, a couple of little screwdrivers here. So where is this thing? Well, I'm going to be doing this with one hand. So right here is the glove box. If you have a Jeep, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I want to take the glove box right off. But uh, what you can do is just, if you want to drop it down, you can just push up on that, pull down on that, and it'll drop it right down. Actually, I can probably do it just like that. I already have the arm, uh, stopper arm disconnected. So this is where you'll find this uh, CAN bus connector, star connector, also known as. Okay, so to get the uh, CAN bus connector off its mount, which is just mounted on this rail here, there's a little tab in the middle, but if you just push over on it, it should just clip like that and then pull up. So on the bottom, there's this is what locks it in place. It's just a little plastic tab and then these hooks just keep it in place on the mounting. So now we have to take all these little plugs out and uh, transfer them to the new the new CAN bus connectors. First, let's heat it up with a hairdryer just to keep the plugs from breaking. Uh, they look very delicate, so it'll be a little bit noisy here. There. So, that's done. We'll get the new one out of the bag. And the reason I'm doing it, because like I said earlier, it's a little bit cooler out. It's not freezing, but it's cool, and I don't want to break those plugs. So. 
sorry it's a little tight to show you stuff here but here's the new one and this is the way it sits in the vehicle here like that so we'll get it in a place where i can start transferring these so behind here there's there's little tabs in the top and you can work them back but it seems like they uh, don't cl completely unlatch unla unlatch when you do that but they will if you go behind it with a small screwdriver like i'm doing right here they pop right out so i'm doing the first one i can get at and that's right here and i'll continue to do the rest and that's pretty much it there that's switched out <clears throat> i switched to a different screwdriver actually a, a pocket knife might work better you can get in these in in this part here because it's tight so that's that let's put it back up here Make sure i have it the right way yeah so it has to go in these little slots to fit it in the heater duct is kind of in the way a little bit there there it is and that's it that is the replacement hopefully you guys can see that i can kind of around the corner let me get out here so there it is there back in place i know it's a tight spot to work here so there it is all back in place now i'm going to take this one apart see if there's something wrong with it well i don't know about you guys but i'm curious to know what's inside one of these can bus connectors if i can get it apart without breaking it all it doesn't matter as far as i'm concerned it's dead meat let me see if I can do this and still show you guys. There she comes. <laughs> There's the back off of it. All right, so I've taken the, the board off on this uh, connector, this CAN bus connector, and I'm going to show you what I found with it and what's going on with these things. Now, you could probably fix this if you're good with solder. But right there, you see those pins? Those are those three pins. Try to get in there closer. Those are the three pins on the first one, and that's the only uh, plug that has three. There, that's a good shot right there. This is the only plug with three wires going to it, and you'll see the solder has separated. Now, it's probably gotten hot, and if you look at this first piece of electronics right here it looks like it may have gotten hot too it doesn't look like it's separated from the board that I can see no nope. but that uh, I, I'm gonna call them resistors but I don't know what they really are but that one looked like it might have gotten hot the rest look fine but this is definitely an issue right here you can see the heat has separated see right there clearly you can see the separation of the solder now i'm going to resolder this one keep it as a spare but that's what's going on with these boards right here fired up not a light in the dash not even the engine lights on anymore ha huh. very good very good and before it was all lit up service shifter was up there's a light up in here like a throttle body it was all red yeah 
So I think he's back in action again. Well, that's it. That's the uh, CAN bus connector installed. Um, you know, uh, there's not often I'll just say throw parts at it without doing a lot of testing and, and that kind of thing. But this, if you're having those symptoms with your Mopar Chrysler product, that this is in, this is installed in, I would say don't waste time going into the shop or anything right away. Just just go get one of these and replace it. They're, for a hundred bucks, that's a half hour in the shop. And um, they're easy to replace. Just make sure the plugs are warmed up a little bit so you don't break any of them. That's it. Uh, so thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.